and my bone density is starting to reduce and my muscle mass is starting to reduce. So I have to try and stop that from happening by exercising for two hours every day uh, so that when I come back to Earth, I'll still be able to function normally. Anisha, is it true that you use pencil to write in space? If not, what do you use? Over. Uh, do you know, Anisha, most of the time we actually use pens. I mean, pencils do work up here, of course, but so do pens even in microgravity. Suviksha, has there been any case of sickness like common cold in the ISS? Over. There have been cases of sickness, yes, sir. Uh, sometimes people with cold have arrived on the space station and then everybody gets it, just like back on Earth. But generally speaking, it's a very clean, sterile environment up here, and we go into quarantine before we launch onto the space station. Bihani, which subjects must be studied to be an astronaut? Over. Hi, Bihani. I think it's very important that you study, study what you enjoy and study what you're good at. Uh, but, yeah, of course, to be an astronaut, it does help if you have a background in science and engineering or mathematics. So physics, chemistry, biology, math, a great subject if you want to become an astronaut. Sugan, I think half of the crew members are from Russia. Do you have any language barrier problems while talking to each other? Over. Hi, Sugan. Well, I've spent six years trying to learn Russian. I'm still not very good, but uh, I could kind of get by and our Russian colleagues spend the at the same time learning English. So between us, we get by in a kind of Russian-English language. Kuldin, as you told that Americans use football to some of measurements, so is there any difficulty in this regard? Over. I told these, you're quite right. Uh, we do use different systems. I've kind of been brought up on the metric system coming from the UK, but also as a pilot, I'm very used to flying all sorts of different aircraft from different places around the world. So I think most of us manage to cope with the different uh, measurement systems with no problem. Samden, in Kathmandu, our shop became dirty within a few hours. How often do you have to clean your clothes? Over. Samden, we actually change our clothes, so we just throw away the old ones. But it does mean that we have to wear our clothes for a lot longer than we would normally wear back on Earth. But actually, we kind of stay quite clean up here on the space station anyway. Prasanata, is there any research going on in ISS which can have impact on the less developed countries like Nepal? Over. Pius, in what way does the zero gravity affect the human physiology? How difficult is it to perform normal activities that time? Over. I think that is it. If you'd like to get together and say a big uh, hooray or cheers. Thank you. Uh, namaskar. Mero naam is Morriso. Ma balai takako rajdutu. Tapala bitiru kushi layu. It's very good to um, meet you all and to be here and to share in this amazing and historic moment. Um, I'm particularly pleased as British ambassador that, um, that the students here today um, managed to speak to a British astronaut on the space station. As some of you will know, this year we're celebrating 200 years of the relationship between Nepal and Britain. And these young people... And these young people just took the relationship to a whole new level. And so now we've had uh, young people in Nepal talking to a British astronaut in space. It was a tremendous moment, and I congratulate everybody who made it possible. The staff at the school, who I'm sure inspire children all the time, but I hope have inspired a whole set of young people who are here today in terms of science. I want to congratulate the young people, uh, the students who asked questions and those who've got their questions ready. I thought they did a fantastic job, so I think a round of applause for all those students. <laughs> and as I say, to congratulate all the staff of the school and everybody else who was involved in, in letting us all be part of such a historic moment. Thank you very much for inviting me along to Thank you. Very, very much.
follow your dreams, you need to try and find out what it is that you're passionate about, what you enjoy in life, and choose that as your path. Follow your dreams, anything can happen.